thank you for coming back to the studio. So we go back to the full side of Bagua, okay? Uh, so next one we continue the first, uh, the other basic step is our uh, Yen Bagua, okay? Uh, so in our system we have Yin Bagua and Yen Bagua, okay? Yin Yang. Uh, so Yen Bagua is a bit more, um, more uh, aggressive. Uh, or be yeah. more solid, okay. So the difference is the stepping and then the uh, the way of pressing is totally different. Uh, so in full change system, okay. Uh, so I know in modern full style, so in full yung full lineage, so probably uh, practicing in a different way. But so that's why I would like to make this video to introduce like the other aspects of the um, the uh, the training purpose and then the, uh, the training methods is slightly different too. Uh, so there's a few variations, probably I may not talk too much about it, but, uh, but I would like to bring up uh, to just give you a bit more actual information. Uh, so the first one is, um, we're going to do the uh, demonstration by drivers first, and then we talk about detail, uh, may go back a bit more, uh, more different detail inside it. So let's have job start first. Okay, thank you, Travis. So that is the first single palm chain in the Yen, uh, yen Bagua, okay? So uh, uh, I should mention it, Yen Bagua is pretty much one of the, uh, one of the, one of the original form but taught by Fu Chen Song when he first came to Canton as well. So uh, a few more early students will learn the Yen Bagua, uh, but after the World War II, uh, when Fu Chen Song back to Guangzhou, uh, actually because during the World War II, the uh, Japanese invasion, so he moved up to the northern of the canton, northern of Guangdong. Okay, so stay with the other uh, other uh, government uh, army over there. Uh, so next people t will teach Yen Bagua. So that is actually not common in some uh, full style practitioner. But so that's why I want to bring up here. Uh, so back to the detail. So this one. Um, so when he first start, we already start talking about the uh, the beginning already. So the the starting form, uh, we talk about this a lot of time. So like this, and then starting the palm change. Okay. So you can either internal or external. So this one is external. So when he first start walking. So we do the kicking step, okay? Uh, so some people kick a bit higher, we kick a bit lower, okay? And then, kobu, and then bai xi, okay? Like this. So some people put it flat, uh, doesn't matter, but this one a bit more appropriate in that, okay? And then, chun shan, uh, fan shan fu jo, okay? So, turning your body and sitting in the tiger stand. Okay, next one. So the, uh, let's talk about the requirement of this. Okay, so like that here. It's very important. When you cow, you're not just turning your waist. Okay, you have the whole body connection too. And the sink. Okay, what is the difference is, if I just do it, if I just turn like this, that may work. But that would be different cow for Jeff's case when it. So of course like if 
Egyptian kind of movement. First turn, and then you go in to open your whip. Just one close in your whip to do a rowing body. Okay, turn one, cowboy turn. Okay, sit back. That is the full jaw. Okay, and then turn. You can wobbling, but just dip that up turn. But what we turn like this, when you turn, and then your forearm palm up internal rotation, and then the other hand tuck it in here, turn into the whole stand, and then you keep sinking, sinking, open up, and this one external rotation. This one internal rotation to form a G. Three. Turn. Yes. Sit down. Okay. Test go. Oh, yeah. So that's the detail. So when he doing this, normally how you testing this is, are you doing correctly? You just keep a bit of force here. If he not. If he just using external, he can't lift it up because he's not sinking. So without the chat, sink it down here, and then he can do it. Okay. So that is the one of very important of the basic palm chain. Why we talk about this detail? Uh, oh, sorry. Let's just do, talk about detail first, and then we explain a bit more. So by from this direction, call, turn, whip open, whip close. Turn. Some people do it in chop, but actually, you just sit back. Turn toe, tuck in, look it back, look hang, call, sit. Okay, extend it. Very slow because you're sinking, and then to wrap in the arm, the elbow, drop. Turn, sit back. And do a turn, and then you start kicking. Okay, um, that is the uh, the detail in between it. So the G is important to form the lateral palm. So people just doing the arm. If people just doing with the arm, just like this. Okay, uh, so you not caught him with your your stand. But this will be like this. Okay, so the lateral palm. By doing this, so that's why you stand need to be prepared. Sink. If he resting on me, like what we do this testing before. Okay, my my hand is just moving. My stand is not ready. This leg is not using this at all. Even like this, the turn will be totally different when you sinking correctly. Boom. So that's how we do the palm change. Uh, for example, if he attacking me, palm chain. So that's how we do it. If just a hang, okay, it still work, but not a power at this. That's important, okay. And then that actually why we doing the much step very strong as well. Um, the second thing is, find some full jaw. Very important. Why we have to open whip? And closing whip. The reason is, if we just do a turn without yin yang changing in here, you're not changing this part at all. So when he doing this, the whip open, that will be totally another story. Little tuning. Yep. Okay. If he not, if he just turn simply, nothing change. So what is the situation we using in here? If I just turn at it, nothing happen. Okay, so that is how you training your whip. Just remember the stone ball training by Fu Chen Song. One of the requirement is how do you open and close your whip. That's one thing. Okay, so same thing in here. Uh, uh, similar. If he punch me, if he punch me, okay. If my whip not closing, 
uh, so that will be a bit more than a bit more danger. But if he punches me, if I close and whip, that's also create an emptiness of the loop to be a uh, misjudging. Okay, fu jiao. Okay, what is the training purpose of this fu jiao? Okay, uh, that's very important part of the whole form. Actually, you do it. Um, do it ever uh, you keep doing it, doing this, and doing this. So, the application now in other system, they will talk about this is uh, actually chop, nothing wrong. Okay, you can do it. But what is the original concept is after you turn, uh, after you train, you rowing. Okay, the purpose of this, I would say, it's just a chin now and sit. That is what the uh, what Jai Yunji is teaching. See, you just resting hand here, full job. Okay. Uh, so of course, like sitting with that. If he if he touching it, grab pull, that will give a lot of uh, different damage. Hmm. Um, um. So that is the full job. Very important. It's hard, teaching you how to sit. If he if he punch me, boom boom. That's how you drag in and like this. Okay, so that's why pong pong. You can also do in this as well. Okay, that's one thing. Uh, version two. Okay, so that is the uh, the jarring G version. Uh, I also see uh, uh, the other lineage. Uh, uh, lay. Fu uh, Yanshu and another early student uh, called oh, that's okay. Also doing this uh, similar. Um, next version, uh, I would say a variation is from my and Joe lineage. So uh, I've been asking Jiang uh, Yunji too. So he also seen this pattern as well. He said nothing wrong with it. Uh, you can pattern it this way. So the different version is. Up the kick, so you're lifting up, turn, and sit back. Okay, so try again. You keep sitting all the time, turn, and kick. Okay, so the version is you're lifting up, um, and then doing this, and then this one, you're not just kicking like this. You also practicing how to use in your elbow. Musa, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, block this. <laughs> okay, so this is one of the purpose of keep training your elbow. Okay, so, um, so we'll be like this. Boom, boom. Okay, so this is one of the variation of training. Uh, so that is the single palm chain. Uh, talk about the detail, the practicing, the weight, or the tendon. So the purpose of the yin ba gua and yin ba gua different approaches. Yin ba gua palm, very strong, very active. Yin ba gua. So you can see a bit more spiral, a bit more emptiness. Uh, opposed because the energy is different because we're doing this a lot in yin. Yen Bakwa we're doing pretty strong, pretty much using tendon. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, everything is strong. Boom. Okay, uh, so Yen Bakwa will be like this. Zoom, zoom. Different kind of pose, is that you feel different kind of energy? Uh, yeah, I feel um, Yen Bakwa is like the power is very obvious and straightforward and Yin Bagua, like there's a lot more spiraling and maneuvering happening so, yep. yeah uh, so thank you for watching so that is the first single palm chain and then probably we talk about uh, double palm chain in the next video thank you <laughs>